Friday. Johnson will be doing some mixing here, three batting and calling here, and knows that John Cohen is a very loose opener, so he's going to put in the cool three bat here. And John Cohen sees that Johnson is not very deep. Anybody else water? I'm good, thank you. I haven't offered for three months because can't drink it over here. I know, isn't that funny? Yeah. <laughs> We're going to see an interesting hand here because there is $4,000 in the pot. Johnson with one and a half stack to posture spot ratios back. Sorry for the tongue tie. And this is probably going to get all in here on this flop. Look at John. Cohen slight favorite here, 58% equity with a pair draw versus top top, pretty incredible. Thirteen hundred, and we will see an all in here from Johnson. All in from Johnson, and we're going to see a $16,000 pot. And Johnson's top top will hold. There's a great sizing on that first hand. Uh, thanks. It's really good. If you bet smaller, it would hold. Yeah. None of it happens without hitting the miracle turn. <laughs> wow, we're going to see another big hand right off the bat. Because the difference between brilliant and terrible is obvious. John Cohen and John Sin. All right, guys, here's, here's my revenge. Yeah. John Cohen said it best, revenge time. <laughs> a straddle round. John Cohen, Johnson starts with a little less than 100 big blinds. Pretty hefty squeeze by John Cohen. it all in and we're going to see another huge coin flip pretty much here. John Cohen with the snap call. Top pair for John. Top two. But a straight for John Sin on the river and John Sin who bought it for 10,000 has officially 3.5x his stack. Up to $34,400. The main event run good is still there for Johnson. 